Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel and I do anything I want on this channel. I definitely had a plan for this channel and so far the majority of my videos have been reading this uh, Colby Brock fan fiction. So we're just going to roll with it. We are in a little bit of a different setup today. I am home alone for the first time in like six months. So I figured I just wanted to be nice and cozy today. So we're wearing a hoodie. We've got a hair mask in and we are in my bedroom. It won't be a permanent setup, but you'll probably see this for the next few videos because I do want to get a bunch filmed today. I've had a lot of you asking for more parts of the Colby Brock fan fiction. So we're going to read as much as we can today until we start stumbling over our words because that will send me into a mental breakdown. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy this series that lets me know to keep making these kinds of videos. And today we are reading chapter 11 of Brood, a Colby Brock fan fiction series. If you haven't watched any of the previous parts, there are, I think, three or four other parts. So you definitely want to go watch those before watching this one. Otherwise, this will make no sense to you. Also, I've been trying to be better about uh, not looking down at like my computer screen or anything. And I don't have my laptop today. I have my iPad. My camera is up here. My iPad is down here. So we're just going to roll with it. I may or may not look at the camera the entire video, but I assume most of you are probably just listening to this. All right, let's jump right in. Chapter 11. Next morning. Everyone got ready for the beach and you put on a really cute outfit. If you want to see the beach outfit, the story is linked in the description box below so you can go look at it in chapter 11. That's pretty cute. You all walked to the beach. As you were walking, you enjoyed the small breeze and perfect sunshine shining on your blonde hair and fair skin. Okay guys, we're here, Sam says and your eyes light up from the side of the ocean. You smile and step on the sand. It's so pretty, you say in an excited tone and catch Colby's attention. Sam finds a spot and you sit on the towel. Let's go swim, Samantha says and unbuttons her flannel and shorts. You look at everybody unsurely. I'm fine. I'll just build a sandcastle, you say and they all frowned. Rachel, no, you're coming. She walks to you and pulls you up from the ground. No, what if I get slat in my eyes? I think she meant salt. You ask as an excuse. She smiles and unbuttons your shirt. I think we're getting closer to Rachel and Samantha falling in love. You growl and unbutton it yourself. Fine, I'll swim, but only for a little bit. You remove your sandals and shorts. Yay, let's go, Aaron yells and runs to the water. You hug your body from everyone and Samantha walks with Sam into the water. You smile and turn your head to Colby. He cocks an eyebrow and smirks. Come on. He puts a hand on your back for you to start walking, giving you goosebumps. You walk with him, getting stares from girls and guys. You look down and step into the water. Don't look down. It makes you dizzy, Rachel, he says, and lifts your head. People are staring. He chuckles and intertwines his fingers with yours. You look at him and he smiles. Colby, they'll see us. Don't. He sighs and lets go of your hand. Whatever, he mumbled, and you walk into the water. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just if they see, they'll make a big deal out of it. You know it too, you say, swishing the water with your fingers. You're right, but if they don't see, they won't, he says, making you look at him in confusion. What? He shakes his head. Nothing. He suspiciously smiles away from you. I'm not even halfway through the chapter, and I'm already struggling reading, and I don't know why. He suspiciously smiles away from you, and you walk more into the water to where it covered your stomach. That's far enough, he turns his head to you. Okay. He looks in your eyes and lowers himself underwater. He closes his eyes and goes underwater. You furrow your eyebrows and feel his arms wrap around your body and his lips kiss your stomach. <laughs> oh no, where is this going? You grab his arms and pull him back up. He giggles and you blush from his wet hair, covering his eyes a bit and the sun gleaming off of his blue eyes. Don't do that, Colby. You quietly say and feel his hand brush against yours and grab it. You glance up to him, then back to the water. They can't see us, he says, making you part your mouth with a bit of a smile. True, you say and grab his hand back. He moves closer to your body and you feel his other hand wrap around your lower back, pulling you closer. Colby, now it's obvious we're doing something. He sighs. Get over it. He gets closer to your face and he kisses your lips. Your eyes widen and he pulls away. 
Colby, I swear. He smiles. You swear what? You feel his hands on your ass. You gasp and you blush. You hit his chest and he laughs. You look behind him and see some girls come this way, so you let go of his hand and back up. He reaches for a back and he turns his head. The girls move faster to him. Oh my god, Colby, it's you. It's me. I'm also here at the beach, following Colby. He turns his body and smiles. Yep. She squeals. Wait, let me get my phone for a picture. She runs out of the water and leaves her two other friends there. They both glare at you and roll your eyes. Who's the chick? They ask him and he turns his head to you and he pulls your arm up beside him. My friend, he says, and they rudely giggle. You frown and look at Colby. He looks at you and shrugs. He mouths, don't mind them. You slightly smile, feeling his fingers glide across your thigh in the water. I'm back, here. She yanks Colby's arm and pulls him to her side and smiles brightly. They all take a picture together and she looks at you with a huge smile. Are you his girlfriend? Oh my god, you're so freaking pretty. Let's take a picture. She lightly grabs your wrist and snaps a photo. You smile from her kindness, unlike her friends, and take another one with her. Oh, I'm not his girlfriend, only his friend, but thanks. She still smiles and leaves with her friends. You sigh and he pats your head. It happens a lot. Sorry. Let's go find the others. Get on my shoulders. He says, and he bends his knees down and you hesitantly get on his shoulders, placing your hands in his hair. He holds your legs down and walks to Sam and Samantha splashing each other and stuff like that. You giggle and they both look at you too. Samantha's mouth flies open and her eyes brightened up looking at you and Colby. You knew she thought different about you too, but Colby's a friend waiting to be your boyfriend. It's true. I feel like that last sentence didn't make any sense at all, but it's fine. Sam smirks to Colby and Samantha comes to you all happy. You two are finally dating. Oh my God, she yells. No, we're not. He's just letting me sit on his shoulders, you say, and she immediately frowns, sadly walking back to Sam. You guys need to get together already. I'm waiting, Sam says, kissing Samantha's forehead. How about a chicken fight? Colby asks, changing the subject smoothly. Yeah, dude, Sam says and allows Samantha to get on his shoulders. You giggle and get ready to fight Samantha. Girl, come fight me, Samantha yells and holds your hands up, making you laugh. Ready, set, go. She pushes her hands onto you and you push forward. She growls like a bear and struggles to push you, and she bumped her boob into Sam's head and squeals, causing her to fall into the water, bringing Sam down with her. Ah, Sam screams before going underwater. Well, guess I won. Woo! You say Samantha and Sam come up gasping for air. He lowers himself in the water for you to get down, and you do so. That was pretty fun, but I'm getting bored, you say, sliding your hands down from his shoulders. Let's go sit on the sand then, Colby suggested. Wait, where's Aaron? Sam asked, looking around. Uh, I seen him with a girl a while ago. I think he left, Samantha says, looking around with Sam. Oh, wait, he's over there. He's actually with another boy. I'm stupid, Samantha says, and you all go to him. Hey, Aaron, let's go sit on the beach. He turns to all of you and smiles. All right. He walks with you guys to your spot. You all sit there talking for a while until the beach got fewer and fewer people as it turned dark. Do you guys want to go eat and come back at night? Sam asks and you all nod, putting your clothes back on. What do you guys want? Sam asks as you all walk to the hotel. McDonald's, Aaron shouts. Sounds good, Colby mumbled, looking down. You smile to him and look away. After you all rinsed off and got food, you headed down to the beach where it was pitch black. Only the sound of the waves was heard. We won't be here long. Just hang around and chill. Then we'll go home and watch some TV. Sam says, placing a towel on the sand. You all sit down and Sam turns on a flashlight. How do you guys like this place? Cool? Boring? Sam asks. You look at him and part your mouth to say something, but Aaron interrupts you. Personally, it would be more fun without Rachel, he says, and you flinch from his response. What? You look at him. He presses his lips together and nods. I think it would be better without you, he says, and Colby glares to him as if he were to punch him. No, she's fun. You just don't understand her, Aaron, Samantha says, crossing her arms. You hug your knees, a little hurt from what he said. He was supposed to be your friend. Colby notices you and stands up, pulling you up with him as well. What? He keeps a straight face and kicks some sand on Aaron. We're going to go walk around for a little bit, he says to them, not even asking you if you wanted to go. He grabs your wrist and pulls you away from everyone. Hey, what are you doing? He holds your hand and sighs. Doesn't the sky look nice? He avoids your question and you go along with it. Yeah, it does. It's dark, but I guess so, you say. He stands in front of you and puts his hands behind your neck, pulling you close to him. He looks into your eyes and kisses you softly. You blush a bit and respond, pulling 
away after. Why did you bring me here? He slightly smiles, still having his hand behind your neck. I don't know. It's more quiet, and I didn't want to go alone. You try to hold back a smile from his cuteness. But apparently, I'm not fun, you quote with your finger, releasing a small giggle. Then why'd I bring you? He asks, and you push his face, making his hands leave your neck. You're so corny. Let's go back. I'm getting cold. You hug your arms, and he hugs you. Warm yet? He whispers. No, come on, you smile. Here, have my hoodie. He starts lifting his hoodie up, and you laugh, holding his hand down. No, you say, and he frowns. Rachel, why are you playing so hard to get? Just give in. Give in. Because if you don't, I will, you say, and he frowns. You're so stubborn. He pouts, and you turn around and start walking. You feel his arms wrap around your waist from behind and pull you back, hugging you. Colby, come on. Look who's stubborn. He puts his head in the crook of your neck and smiles. You place your hands on his and feel his lips touch your neck softly. Your eyes widen and freeze, letting him continue to lightly kiss your neck. Your heart beats fast and he sucks on your neck. You gasp and hold his head down with your hand. You feel his smile across your neck and he lifts his head. Did you just give me a hickey? You hold the place he sucked and turn to him. He smiles innocently. Maybe. He says and your jaw drops. Colby. You couldn't help but to let out a smile a little and hit his chest. He laughs and grabs your hand, kissing it too. Come on, let's leave. He walks back with you and you couldn't help but to be dumbfounded. This idiot gave you a hickey. Chapter 12. It's been forever. I'm so sorry, readers. My life is weird. You two head back to the others. You brought your hair over the hickey, covering it up sneakily. You let his hand go before you two approach the others and sat on the towel Sam had laid out earlier. You ignore everyone's stares and keep your eyes on your feet. Guys, let's go. You two aren't getting along tonight, I guess. But even if you're just playing around, let's go, Sam says to you and Aaron. Aaron smiled to you like a jerk and stood up. Finally, he calls out walking away. What's his problem? You did nothing. Girl, he's jealous. You stand up and go to the hotel with the others. You plop beside Samantha on the bed and deeply sigh a few times before she says something. What's wrong? She asks, messing with your hair. You glare up to her. You really don't know? Aaron is my problem. He all of a sudden becomes an ass and it makes me mad. You rant to her. She gets a little closer to your neck and gasps and holds your hair up. Rachel, what is this? She asks, pointing to your neck. You quickly sit up and cover your neck. What are you talking about? You ask stupidly, knowing what she was asking. You know what I'm talking about, she says, still shocked. You roll your eyes. It's a hickey, she says, glaring at you. You glance to her and sigh. Yeah, so what? She squeals. Who is it from? Colby? Ooh, yes! She squeaks, excited for a story. Stop, I don't want to talk about it. You push her away and stand up. Listen, Samantha, he just put a hickey on me. So what? You've had a few before, noticeably showing, but I never mentioned them. I'm going to take a walk, okay? See you soon, you said and left her there. I just feel like if all of this was happening to me, you better believe I would be telling my best friend every single little detail that I could recall. You were going out the door and bumped into Colby on your way. Oops, sorry, you said. He grabs your wrist. Hey, where are you going? He asks. I pull my wrist away. Out, you slurred a bit. He smiled. I'll come with, he said and grabbed his shoes. You both went out. You didn't know what you meant by out. Possibly you didn't know where you were going. He bumped your shoulder, taking you out of your thoughts. You gave him a look and he chuckled. You look lost, he said. You inhaled and closed your eyes towards the sky. I am. It's just no one knows it, you said. He held your hand in his. Then why not find your way? He asked. You sighed. I tried. Look, let's just go do something, you suggested, quickly changing the subject. He hung his head a bit low. Oh, okay, he mumbled, bringing his head back up with a smile. You two went to explore the town in the dark. So, um, yeah, sorry for earlier, from giving you a hickey, he said to you. You place your hand on your neck and rub it. Oh, it's fine. Only now Samantha knows, you said. He shrugs. Oh, well, he mumbled. You grab his hand this time. Colby, why is Aaron like that? You asked him. I think he's just a little bipolar or jealous, he said. You click your tongue. I knew I'd get an answer like that. Is there a real answer? Does he hate me? You asked. No, he doesn't hate you. He's just been a little stressed lately, even if it doesn't seem like it. Oh, it seems like it. 
Trust me, I know him pretty well, he said to you. You nodded. Okay, you mumbled. You two got home and went to your room. Samantha was asleep with your pillow that she was hugging. You smiled and took off your shoes and slid in bed with her. You took some covers and wrapped them warmly around your body. You sighed before going into a deep sleep. Chapter 13. Next day. You woke up with Samantha and she was sprawled out on top of you. You grunt as you pushed her sleeping body off of you. Samantha, get your ass up. You smiled as she snored. You pushed her a little more and she fell off the bed. You gasped and crawled to her side where she laid in shock. She furrowed her eyebrows to you in confusion. Did I just fall off of the bed? She asked. You started laughing hard. She stood up and scratched her head. Whatever, she mumbled and went to the restroom. You stopped laughing and got out of the bed, opening the bedroom door and leaving. You decided to eat some cereal. You fixed some and sat at the table. You ate and heard someone come in, expecting it to be Samantha. You're so fucking stupid, you said. Oh, that's mean, a deep voice said, and you choked, looking up to see Colby. Colby? I'm so sorry I thought you were Samantha, you said. No, you're fine, he said and smiled. You bashfully eat your food. I'm going to shower, he said, and came up behind me, placing a kiss on your cheek. You blushed, stuffing your face as he walked away. You showered after eating and went out with Samantha, shopping for some clothes. Of course, you went to the guy section, looking for oversized hoodies because those are so comfortable. You find at least three, one black, one dark blue, and one gray one. That's all you were happy with and stayed with Samantha as she shopped for girly, weird, ugly clothes. Pink, green, orange, and all those bright colors blinding you. Ugh, Samantha, my feet are killing me. Can we go? It looks like you're ready for a zombie apocalypse, except you want to be seen. You whined and stomped your feet to the next section she walked to. Yeah, 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 just two more things, she said. I scoffed. You said that 15 minutes ago. Might as well buy the whole store, you remarked. She chuckled. I wish, she mumbled, looking at the price of a pink shirt. You growled and grabbed your arm, dragging her to the counter. It's time to leave and stop, you scolded with a smile and forced her clothes down along with mine. You're buying since you have all this money and time, you said. She shrugs. You both stopped for lunch. You ordered only a milkshake and fries from McDonald's, and she ordered her fancy food. You both ate and you sighed, placing a hand under your chin. She froed her eyebrows at you. Everything okay, hun? She asked and stuffed her face. Actually, everything was fine, but Aaron was still on your mind. You didn't want to be mad at him, and you didn't want him to be mad at you. If only you knew why he was so angry. I can't handle how oblivious Rachel is. Yeah, everything's fine, you told her and faked a smile. She cocked an eyebrow. Okay, but don't lie to me, because eventually I'll find out, she said and ate more of her food. You chuckled. Back to the hotel. You tried on the hoodies and decided you'd like the black one much better. You leave to the couch where Sam was. He smiled. Hey, Rachel, he said, and you smiled back. Hey, you said. You sat down, grabbing a pillow and putting it on your lap. What are you watching? You asked, tilting your head with a small smile. Seeing food on TV? He chuckled. I was just switching through the channels. Nothing interesting is on, he said. You laugh a bit. Try Nickelodeon, you suggested. He clicked his tongue a bit with an unsure face. Really? They don't have good shows anymore like they used to. He pointed out. You purse your lips. Yeah, I guess you're right, you said and lightly squeezed the pillow. You know what? I'm just going to ask everybody if they want to go swimming, he said to you. He looked to you with a big smile. Want to swim? He asked. You nodded. Woo! He got up and went to ask the others. He's so silly and weird. You got up to get ready to swim with Samantha. She pulls out her black swimsuit and lays it on the bed, looking to you. Want to borrow it? She asked. You press your lips together. Sure, he replied, picking it up. You went to the bathroom and changed into it. You guessed you were a little more comfortable now. It was a little bit showy, but it was cute. You wrapped yourself in a towel to cover your modesty and headed out with the others. Colby walked beside you, secretly holding your hand. You were liking this and smiled to him, making his cheeks fluster in pink. You held back a giggle and continued walking with him. You all got to the pool, swimming in no time. It was mostly empty and quiet, just the five of you all together, playing and splashing around like kids. Except for Aaron, who stayed on the sidelines, messing with the concrete surrounding the pool. You frown and go to him, trying to find out what his problem is and try to fix it. He looked over to you, instantly looking away with a long face. Your hand didn't hesitantly touch him's shoulder, and he shuddered. <laughs> Maybe it's not me that feels like I'm stumbling over my words. That made no sense. Can we talk, please? You asked nervously. He took a while to reply and sighed. Fine, he mumbled. You both leave while Colby watched you two go. He stopped beside the building out of everyone's sight. You fiddled with your fingers. Why 
why are you being so out of it? You asked, stammering over your words. He sarcastically scoffed. Really? Was I not obvious? <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like Aaron's part just needs to be read really over dramatically. He asked, throwing his arms up. You stood there, clueless of what to think. Obvious. What do you mean? You asked. He scoffed for real this time. I've liked you, and you pick the jerk who messes with every girl he sees, he slightly shouts, putting me into complete shock. You liked me? You asked, dumbfounded. I do like you, Rachel, but I see you have your guy, he said, walking away from you. You scoffed slightly to yourself, holding your wrist nervously. He liked you? Really? It made you happy, but you felt bad for him. You do love Colby. So we just went straight from playing hard to get to being in love with Colby with no transition. Okay, you do love Colby, but Aaron was kind of right. Colby does like to mess with girls, but he said he wouldn't do it anymore. Will he keep his word? You walked back to the pool, seeing Colby glaring at Aaron. You walk in front of him, placing your hands on your hips, glaring at him now. He looked up to you. Rachel, he said. Why are you looking at him like that, Colby? You asked, removing your hands from your hips. I heard you guys. He likes you, he said. You sarcastically chuckled. So? A lot of girls like you, you remarked. Yeah, but I don't touch them. He looked down, realizing he did. Mm-hmm. You do, you said. He guiltily looked down at the pool. Just because he likes me, it doesn't mean I'm going after him, you said, and sat on the edge of the pool, slipping your feet into the water. I know, he mumbled and put his back against the wall. You slightly smiled. Be nice to him, you said. He furrowed his eyebrows. No, he said. All right, I think I'm going to treat you guys today since I made you wait so long for that last part and it was so good. So we're going to read chapter 14 today and I'm really hoping that I can read this fast enough to put my phone on the charger. All right, speed read. Let's go. Chapter 14. It came to about dinner time and Samantha decided to cook for all of you. You were all playing video games. Of course, you all had to take turns because there wasn't really enough controllers. You ended up dying every time it was your turn and it sucked so much. You growled, crossing your arms and pouted. Colby looked at you, giving you a smile, a cocky one. You had glared into his eyes and said, This is not fair. I hate it. Colby put his mouth to one side, and he gave a sorry look, placing his hand on your thigh. I apologize that you suck at games. He played off his cheeky act again, pissing you off. You stood up, angered at him, leaving to your room to pout some more. You hate people who are always so cocky and mean when it comes to their stupid achievements. You absolutely hate it. It's just a game, girl. Calm down. You sat on your bed, pulling out your phone to do some things, maybe watch some funny videos to cheer you up. Why is it Colby is so nice one minute, and the next he's a complete asshole? You just don't get it. He's so rude. Your head looked to the door, hearing a slight knock on it at least two times. You exhaled, rolling your eyes. Go away, Colby, you told him. You turned off your phone to try and hear a response. The only thing you heard was a muffle from the other side saying, it's not Colby. You furled your eyebrows. Who then? You yelled loud enough for them to hear. It's Sam, he said. Sam? He rarely speaks to you, only when he's asking for something. You stood up, going to the door and unlocked it, revealing, as said, Sam. You bite your inner cheek, leaning on the doorframe. What do you want? You carelessly asked, still mad. He sighed. Well, why are you angry? You just stormed off, he said, looking back to you. You rolled your eyes again, almost closing the door until he stopped it with his hand. Tell me, he said, opening the door and stepping inside. He closed it. You sarcastically chuckled, walking back to your bed. There's no reason to close the door, you said, turning your phone back on and looked at it. He exhaled. You're mad, and I don't like that, he said, sitting beside you, taking your phone. You scoffed. You care? Wow, he sarcastically said with a slight laugh. He put your phone in his pockets. Hey, my phone, what are you doing? You asked, trying to get it out of his pocket. No, no, no. He pushed your hand away with a slight smile. You furrowed your eyebrows. Fine, I'm not saying anything, though, you remarked, crossing your arms in sass. He chuckled. Speak or forever hold your peace, he said, making a small smile on your lips. You glanced at him, looking at you. What? I'm not speaking because it's so obvious of what it is. You told him, receiving a long, depressing sigh, and he dramatizes. Please, Rachel, please let me know, he grieves, holding your arm, exaggerating his words a lot. You laughed a little, nudging him off of you. Get off, you chuckled. He smiled. Then tell me, and I'll leave, he said. You sighed, feeling belittled of the situation. Okay, but it was over something stupid. You slightly mumbled, trailing the words off your tongue. Tell me, he said. 
Okay, I left because Colby was being rude and I kept losing, you admitted, looking down at your now fidgeting fingers. Really? That's it? He asked in disbelief. You look up and kind of nodded. Well, I mean, yeah, I hate rude people, you said. You purse your lips to think of something. Then we can do something else, he suggested, raising an eyebrow. All right, I shrugged. He cupped your cheeks in his hands and pulled your face to him. <laughs> this is a plot twist I did not expect. The woman was too stunned to speak. He cupped your cheeks in his hands and pulled your face to him. You squealed and your eyes widened. You jerk away in a flash. What are you doing? You hissed, slapping his face. You stood up in disbelief of what he tried to do. He pressed his lips together in guilt. I, I'm i sorry, he apologized. You gulped. Yeah, you should be sorry. You're dating my best friend. You can't kiss me, you scolded, receiving his sorry look. You couldn't believe he tried to cheat on your best friend. You know, I try to read these in like a very calm tone, so that way if you guys just like want to listen to it when you're falling asleep or something, you can. I don't think in this moment I can. You scoffed in disgust. You know what? Get out, you told him, pointing to the door. He stood up. Please don't tell Samantha. I don't, I don't know what got into me. I, ugh. He gave up on his explanation. You rolled your eyes. I'm sure any excuse is your way out, but right now you need to get out, you said in a nervous tone. He nodded, leaving. You furrowed your eyebrows, sitting on your bed in disbelief. How could he even try to attempt that? That was so stupid. He was like your friend, and that's about it. Never would it have come to you that he'd try something so stupid and risky. You wanted to tell Samantha, but what if that ruins all of our relationships? It's pretty obvious, but you can't make it a scene. So you're not going to speak one word and just let the awkwardness pass between you two. Who knows what he was thinking? Maybe he liked you? Ugh, no. No! You walked out of the room to get something to drink and got a glass of water. You took a drink, washing down your guilt to not spill the truth. You were stopped from tilting the glass to your lips by a hand. You look over, seeing Aaron. You furrowed your eyebrows. What? You asked. He just cautiously looked around. Set your glass down, he said, and you did, confused. What is it? You asked, looking back at him all lost. He cautiously looked around again. I heard you and Sam in your room, he said, making me choke on air. Your whole body almost dropped. A whole cloud came upon you, staying there, pouring you with guilt. You, you did? You questioned, scared for your life. Yeah, I heard from my room next door. He tried kissing you, right? He asked, worried. You gulped, feeling drowsy. No, I mean, yeah, but he was just messing around to see my reaction. You lied, looking away. He eyed you for a good while. Whatever, he said and left. You wheezed out a bit, going back to your room, passing by where they were all sitting in the living room playing games. You saw Samantha cuddled up on Sam, and he sat there with the saddest and worried face. You gulped once more, shutting your door. You can't do this. You can't lie too well. Someone finds out anything through you. They will find out. Colby will find out. Oh, Colby. His best friend. What a good cliffhanger to leave this on. And that's where we're going to leave it today. I'm so sorry it's on a cliffhanger, but I don't think I can mentally handle to read anymore. For those of you asking what my uploading schedule is, currently don't have one at the moment. Um, I just started a new job a few weeks ago, and it's more of a nine to five job. So I'm hoping now that I have a regular like set schedule that I can start uploading more consistently and actually have a consistent uploading schedule. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what days you guys would want to see videos. I don't know why, but Tuesday just sounds good in my head. Um, I just want to aim for one day a week and then maybe like a bonus video if I'm feeling like I can put out some more content. I know you guys are absolutely loving this story. So if there's any other like Wattpad stories that you guys want me to read, feel free and leave a link in the comments down below. And like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It does really help out my teeny tiny channel. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. I know I did. The tea. The tea is piping hot. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.